Hello, YouTube viewers. Welcome back to our channel, the place where we explore the fascinating world of reptiles. Today, we have an intriguing topic for you, iguana breeding season. If you've ever wondered about the intricate details of how male and female iguanas reproduce, you're in the right place. Stick around as we dive into the captivating world of iguana reproduction. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things reptilian. Now, let's jump into our main topic. When is iguana breeding season? First, we have to understand the natural breeding season. Breeding iguanas, especially in captivity, is no easy feat, even for professionals. In the wild, male and female iguanas come together at the end of summer or during the wet season. This strategic timing allows the females to lay fertilized eggs during the dry season, ensuring a safe and favorable environment for the hatchlings in the upcoming spring. Now, let's talk about factors affecting breeding season in captivity. But what about in captivity? Well, it's a bit more complicated. Factors such as your location, sunlight exposure, and the presence of multiple iguanas in your home can influence the breeding season. If you were to relocate from the south to the north, for example, the breeding season would shift due to changes in ultraviolet light and intensity, even with artificial lighting. Now, I am going to tell you about duration of breeding season. In the wild, male iguanas have a breeding season of about 30 days, while females typically experience it for 7 to 10 days. However, in captivity, this period can be significantly extended due to the lighting conditions we mentioned earlier. So, don't be surprised if your male's breeding season lasts anywhere from one to four months. Next, we will talk about multiple breeding seasons. Now, it's not the norm, but there are instances of iguanas having two breeding seasons, especially in the wild during abnormal weather patterns. In captivity, stress can trigger a second breeding season. If you notice this happening, make sure to provide your iguana with the necessary support and check their habitat to minimize stress. Now let's talk about iguana behavior during breeding season. Ah, here's where it gets interesting. Whether in the wild or captivity, breeding season can bring about significant changes in iguana behavior. Males, in particular, may become more aggressive, displaying behaviors like head bobbing, crab walking, and tail movements. They might even rush at their owners. Safety first. Folks, now let's talk about coping strategies to manage aggression during breeding season. Some owners provide a substitute female for their male iguanas. This could be a shirt, stuffed sock, or even an inflatable pool toy. It sounds quirky, but it can be an effective way to redirect their energy. Now let's talk about female iguanas. Female iguanas also undergo color changes during breeding season, turning orange or red. They require extra calcium and ample water during this time. It's crucial to observe and care for them accordingly. Now let's talk about breeding iguanas. Considering breeding iguanas? Think twice. These reptiles need a large enclosure, and male iguanas can reach a substantial size. Females can lay between 30 and 60 eggs per clutch, presenting the challenge of finding homes for potential offspring, even zoos, with optimal conditions. Find breeding iguanas to be a significant challenge. Now it's time for conclusion. To wrap things up, understanding the breeding season of iguanas provides valuable insights into their lives. Whether you're a potential owner or just fascinated by these creatures, knowledge about the late summer breeding season and its impact on hatchlings is key. Remember, in captivity, expect behavioral changes, but armed with this information, you'll be better prepared to handle them. And that's a wrap for today's video on the iguana breeding season. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, reptile enthusiasts, stay curious. Stay informed and stay wild. Thanks for watching this video.